Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een uitzending voor vandaag. En dat is 25 augustus 2018. Dus is het bulletin van zaterdag. Ik heb vandaag helaas geen data, morgen wel weer. En de uitzending is verder in het geheel in het Engels. After this, this bulletin will be in English. CQ, 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 calling all radio amateurs and shortwave listeners. This is GB2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. It's read to you as usual by G4NJH. The script of the broadcast is available on the RSGB's own website and at gb2rs.podbean.com. Recently, the RSGB Contest Committee has seen some FT8 QSOs being claimed within contest logs. At present, it's difficult to complete a full contest exchange using FT8, although an EU contest-compatible version is under development. A machine-generated modules, or MGM-specific contest, ran in April this year, with a set of rules structured to support all MGM modes and varying and limited exchanges. The initial reaction to this contest was positive, and a second event will take place in December. At this time, FT8 and similar fast MGM modes will be kept inside a separate, more experimental contest framework. However, the contest committee proposes increasing the number of these MGM contests during 2019. Consequently, from the 1st of September onwards, the allowed modes of R- for RSGB VHF contests, except for the dedicated MGM events, will be SSB, CW, FM, AM, JT6M, ISCAT, and FSK441. U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology Station WWV and listening transmitter stations are among the oldest radio stations in the United States, having been in continuous operation since May 1920. WWV has transmitted the official U.S. time for nearly 100 years. The U.S. government are planning to close the NIST radio stations WWV, WWVB and WWVH in 2019. An online petition has been set up at tinyurl.com forward slash gb2rs dash one, sorry, I'll say that again, tinyurl.com forward slash gb2rs hyphen 0824 hyphen a to change that decision, though at the time of writing only about 7% of the necessary signatures to require a response from the White House had been gathered. The GB3 RS Radio Shack at the RSGB National Radio Centre will be off the air from Wednesday the 29th to Friday the 31st of August. During this time, access to the demo station room area will be limited. The reason is that significant maintenance work is being carried out on the tower that supports the station's aerials. The D-Star repeater GB7BP will be off the air for the same period of time as it shares the same mast. The work is weather-dependent, but if there are any changes, the RSGB will post details on the website. Similarly, separately, the the NRC will be hosting a visit by a group of visually impaired students from Spain on Tuesday the 28th. Uh, 28th of August, volunteers will be running a number of MORSE activities for these visitors. On Sunday the 2nd of September, it is the annual reunion of reunion of codebreakers at Bletchley Park, including the voluntary interceptors. This event is organised by Bletchley Park, and more can be read at www.bletchleypark.org.uk. An international space station school contact has been planned for astronaut Ricky Arnold, KE5DAU, with a school in India, scheduled for Monday the 27th of August at approximately 0806 UTC. The conversation will be conducted in English. The contact will be via telebridge operated by ON4 ISS in Belgium. The downlink signals will be audible in parts of Europe on 145.8 MHz FM. Now the DX News from the 425DX News and other sources. Nobu, JA0H, uh, sorry, NA0JHQ, will be active as T88PB from Koror, Palau, I- IOTA reference OC009, from the 31st of August to the 3rd of September. Main activity will be during the All Asian DX SSB contest on the 1st and 2nd of September, with some CW especially on 30 metres and possibly FT8 outside the contest. QSL VAR logbook of the world, preferred, or directly to J0JHQ. Jacques F6HMJ will be active as SV8 stroke call sign from 
from Loss Island, EU 067, from the 27th of August to the 16th of September. That should have been EOS Island, I'm sorry. He will operate CW and some SSB on the 40 to 10 metre bands, QSL via his home call. Lucky HA0NAR will be active from Guadeloupe as FG stroke HG0R between the 27th of August and the 7th of September on the 160 to 6 metre bands using CW, SSB and RITI, QSL via Club Log. Now for the radio propagation report compiled by G0KYA, G3YLA and G4BAO. The past week was characterised by low sunspot numbers and unsettled geomagnetic conditions. The K-index hit 3 and 4 during the week due to yet another large elongated coronal hole on the sun's surface. But it wasn't all bad news, as there was DX to be had if you employed the right equipment. Roger G3LDI reported working Hanked W6SX near the Yosemite region of California in the USA on 20 metres during a CW Opt contest in the early afternoon on Wednesday. Hank was using a basic wire antenna whilst Roger was using a Steppel Step IR beam at height. Both were using their respective full legal powers. The TX5T, the expedition to the Austral Islands in the South Pacific, proved to be trickier a trickier one to work, but a number of G stations did make were able to make the trip with 40 and 80 metre contacts, surprisingly making a show. Next week, Noah predicts the solar flux index will be about, 20, about 66, which is about as low as you can get in any solar cycle. The better news is that there appears to be a lack of solar coronal holes for the time being, so geomagnetic conditions may be more settled with a maximum K index of 2. Expect maximum usable frequency to be in the 14 to 18 MHz range, with the potential for occasional sporadic openings on the higher bands, although we are now well past the summer peak. It's perhaps still work like sorry. It's perhaps still too early in the season to see the expected autumn upturn of F layer HF conditions, but there is still the X to be had if you search for it. This may be a good time to attend to your HF antennas before the autumn, ready to make the most of potentially better DX conditions in a month or so. Now for VHF and up, it's a much more unsettled flavour to the week this week with low pressure close to northern Britain. What's left of the high pressure will have moved to the continent and retreated back to the Azores. This will partly limit the tropo activity compared with recent events, although as often is the case, it will be the south of the country that may see any temporary tropo at times. What, uh, what that leaves us with is the prospect of some occasional microwave band rain scatter in the unsettled phase of our weather. There remains the prospect of the dying embers of this year's sporadic key season. It's always worth a check on the clusters and HF-VHF bands from 10 metres up to 4, but it is perhaps a bit late in the season to expect much on 2 metres. The unsettled weather will bring some jet streams into play over northwest Europe, and that can be a good thing for turbulence and sporadic key. Moon declination is still negative and path losses are high today, but by the time we get to next Saturday and Sunday's GB6 GHY EME activity from the 32 metre dish at Goon Hilly in Cornwall, it will be positive and losses will be lower. The team plan to be active on the 1st and 2nd of September, concentrating on 3.4 gigs on the 1st and 5.7 gigs on the 2nd. Look for them on the HB9Q EME logger between about 0800 and 1200 UTC, earlier if possible. And if you can elevate your dish to the moon, take a listen. Their QSO should be receivable on a one metre dish with a decent preamp. And that's it from the propagation team for this week. And that's it from me also until next week. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren via PI2 NOS. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Alle mail is welkom op het adres x xdvme Dat is ook te vinden rechts boven aan de webpagina van de uitzending www.pa0ete.nl. De Daily Minutes toont iedere dag weer aan de hand van schokkende voorbeelden hoe een hobby mensenlevens kan veranderen. De Daily Minutes komt tot stand mede dankzij de stichting Scope Hobbyfonds. Dit is Papa Alpha 0 Echo Tango Echo. En microfoon naar retour.